Okay, so here we are, we're going to talk about the vector form of the equation of a line, or it's also referred to as a parametric form. And I said equation of a plane. And so what happens is if I have one vector here and another vector here that are non-parallel, and granted vectors can move up and down and stuff like that, but if I take them and kind of put them together, what I can see is that these two arrows will form the basis of a plane or those two vectors. And so if I have these directions and I have one point, then I can make the plane. And so to write it out, r is equal to some point a, b, c plus some parameter of let's say x, y, z or x1, y1, z1, plus a second parameter, x2, y2, and z2. Because to make all these points, what happens is if I have this vector plus the vector, let me do a parallel, I get this point. If I make this vector a little bit longer in that one, I get this point. So by every combination of shrinking or multiplying these vector lengths, I get every single point that exists on the plane, similar to lines. So there's the vector form of the plane. Now, if I want to find, go from the vector form to perhaps the scalar product form, the scalar product form relies upon the normal, this one here. And so if I cross product my two direction vectors that are there, when I cross product them, I get the normal. And once I cross product, I just take one of the points and I can use this form to get, I'll have the point, get let me D, I'll have the normal and so on. If you wanna have a further explanation with nice video graphics, this particular YouTube will do it. Let's do an example to show how this works. So I have a plane with the points A, B, and C. So here's my plane. I have A, B, and C. And so I want to put it in parametric form. Well, if I can find these vectors here, A, B, and A, C, those are on the plane itself. I could do B, A, or B, C, any combination of these three that are different and not parallel. So if I go 1, take away 1, I get 0. Negative 3, take away 1, I get negative 4. 2, take away 1, is 1. A, C, similarly, 1, take away 1, is 0. 0, take away 1, negative 1. 1, take away 1, is 0. And so here are my two direction vectors. If I want to find it in parametric form, x will be, I'm going to choose point A, 1 plus, let me write it in vector form first so we can see what it actually looks like. So I get r is equal to 1, 1, 1 if I choose point A. I could choose any of these three points, will be satisfactory. Plus, we'll say lambda 0, negative 1, 4, or negative 4, 1, plus we'll say mu 0, minus 1, 0. And these parameters can be any real number. Converting that to parametric is simply just going x is equal to 1 plus, or just 1. y will be 1 minus 4 lambda minus mu. And z finally 1 plus lambda. And this will be the parametric form of the plane. Converting to the scalar product form. Well, if I want to convert to the scalar product form, I need to find the normal vector. And the normal is going to be the cross product of my two direction vectors. So if I cross product these, a, b is 0, minus 4, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. If I cross product those values there, and to help me out, I'll just put a line over top of these so I can't actually I want to find i, so to find the normal, my i will be negative 0, 
minus a negative 1. 0 minus a negative 1 is 1. Moving my line over, I'm going to go 0 minus 0 gives me 0. And finally, if I want to do my k value, 0 minus 0 is as well 0. So there is my normal vector. If I want to find the cross product of that now, I know it's the normal vector, sorry, the scalar product form, normal vector dot some point r equals to d. So this is 1, 0, 0 dot. I know this here is the point, 1, 1, 1 equals d. Well, if I dot product, I get 1 is equal to d. And so the scalar product form is going to be 1, 0, 0 dot x, y, z is equal to 1. This is b part, the scalar product form. And finally, I want to find the Cartesian form, which means I take my scalar product form and I multiply it out. It ends up being x is equal to 1, because those are all 0. This is my equation of the plane. Equation plan x equal 1, well, what plane that is, is if this is, let's say, my z and my y and my x, well, here is x equal to 1. And so it ends up being a plane that is parallel to the z, y plane going through whenever x is 1. That's what this plane will look like. So, we have all our forms now. We have our vector form of a plane, our parametric form of our plane, our scalar product form of the plane, and, or sorry, our scalar product form of the plane, and finally our Cartesian form of the plane.